friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making something out of bits and pieces of vegetables that everybody should have around their house. If you've got an overly squishy tomato or some cucumber, or uh, sorry, some celery that's not quite crisp anymore, this is a perfect recipe for you. So we're going to be making vegetable soup. So it's very easy. What we're going to do, this is an onion that I'm dicing up right now. We're going to be combining onions, celery, tomatoes, potatoes, and carrots all together with some garlic. And we're going to let it all simmer. And it's going to be a delicious, healthy meal made out of things that are found in your pantry. So I just diced up half of an onion. This is the rest of my carrot right here. We're just going to dice this up. When you're cutting up vegetables, it's really, it's really important to make sure that you're cutting each piece about the same size. That way everything cooks evenly. So over here, I've got my potato. As you can see, I already started it. The reason why those are sitting in water over there is because potatoes will do something called oxidize, which means they'll turn brown once their flesh is exposed to the air. So I have the other potatoes that I've already cut up sitting over there so they won't oxidize anymore. Then I've got some green beans. As you can see, they're not the prettiest green beans, but that's okay because we're looking for flavor here, not necessarily beauty. So you want to cut off the ends that were attached to the, to the bean stalk. You want to remove those and then just quickly chop the remaining beans. Then over here, we've got our celery, just for a quick stock. You wanna slice it into smaller pieces. Again, so we've got roughly the same size pieces of celery. And that's all gonna go in here. The tomato, this is a really pretty heirloom tomato that I bought at my local farmer's market. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we remove this part that was attached to the stem, cut the top off, and now we've got a ton of seeds inside. We don't want the seeds in for this particular recipe. So you can use your finger and you can remove the seeds like that, or you can continue to cut it and then you can also use a spoon to remove it. As you see, it's quite easy when you get to the pot. You also want to remove these stems parts in here because we really just want the fleshy part of the tomato in our soup. So I've already started over here. What I'm going to do now is add some olive oil to my pan. It's already gotten nice and warm. So we're going to add our tomatoes to the hot pan. What we're trying to do is get this tomato to cook down. We're going to cook for about two to three minutes. It's going to get nice and jammy, almost kind of like a tomato paste. Then what we're going to do is add our garlic. The reason why we want to cook these two things together is it's going to give it a nice oomph and flavor. It's going to give it a wonderful base. It's going to go with our broth, but it's going to give it an extra punch because we cook these a little bit more. Add a pinch of salt. And then we're going to add our vegetable broth. Then to this base, we're going to add all of our different vegetables that we already cut up. And now we're just going to let this sit and simmer for at least 30 minutes or until all of our different vegetables. Oh, my potatoes. I almost forgot my potatoes. That would have been a tragedy, huh? There we go. So now we're just going to let this sit and simmer for at least 30 minutes. Let all the flavors work together. And then our soup is finished. So join me next time for our next video. I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves. Take care. I'll see you next time.